Hey up everybody, I'm moving on to the next part of my mini stroke micro lathe that I'm building. In the last part I did the gearing etc to run the uh, carriage off the lead screw. Um, so in this part then I'm going to continue with this. I'm going to make the threading dial for the half nut for engaging the half nut at the appropriate position when the screw cutting gears are on. And then I've got a little miniature handle to make for this to finish this off. And then I'll move on to next, you know, whatever's next. There's, there's loads of jobs to do. There's tailstock, compound slide, cross slide, um, screw cutting gears. Uh, yeah, there's still quite a lot to do on it yet. Anyway, we'll move over to workbench and we'll have a look at this. Right, I'm over on my Harrison lathe now and uh, I thought of making some handles like very similar to this one. So that's my Harrison and coming over here to my Myford, uh, they're similar. So I've thought about making a miniature one similar to that perhaps and see how it looks. Um, yeah, let's have a, let's have a look at that. I've got some different size ball bearings here so I was going to utilise some of these I think to save me making a, a ball on the lathe. So uh, what I'll do, I'll, I'll get these sized up and then the ones I'm going to use I'm going to soften them by eating them to cherry red and letting them cool naturally then I'll be able to machine those.
Okay then let's have a look where I'm faffing about at here. I've just made a bit of a jig up or fixture, whichever it may be, uh, just to do some stamping on this dial keep, to keep everything in line. So I've got my angle bo blocks, I've got my V blocks clamping this angle plate at the correct distance away from the dial so that my punch is just slot in, bang, then I've got to turn the job round and just get lined up which centre at vice number two, number three, number four Well I think that's it for this part then, uh, I'll move on to the next part, I don't know what it'll be, maybe tail stock, uh, cross slide, compound slide etc etc, there's still quite a lot to do. So if you find that useful, informative, enjoyable, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe, I'd appreciate that, and I'll catch you on the next part of this then. Thanks for watching then, bye for now.